It's me, Trace, from Refurbish in the Middle. Um, I'm going to try to do this outside. I'll try to talk louder so you can hear what I'm saying. But uh, we've been working on those camp countertops. So we're running with polycrylic and all kinds of stuff. So we're outside today. And it's down here in the south. It's, it's getting a little toasty, which I'm not complaining. But I, w I thought in between the, all the layers, I would do something else. So, And I've had these two... Um, lamp shades these are vintage lamp shades and i was so surprised when i bought them that there was two of them and um i stripped them down and they're very pretty they've got just enough curve and um have you seen all those new bulbs and stuff they have coming out that are the edison bulbs but they're like uh, the size of a baseball or something and i thought oh my 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 so but i'm sort of going to do these really simple so i can use them in my house um the first thing i'm going to use is i have this it's waco clear lacquer and i just use i have a bunch of stuff i have a whole cupboard full when me and the boss man are out i always pick this up pick, pick that up you know we have these discount places so I only pay three dollars to three dollars for these this stuff so I'm gonna I use a multitude of products but the first thing I did and I just want to show you is I had taken all the fabric off both of these lamp shades and um, most of the stuff came off there's a little rust coming through a little bit on this one too but I've just got the um, little sanding block and I'm gonna go around and sand and sometimes the some of the fabric remains too when you tear them off but this lamp was really good and it was um it was made really 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 nice quality a long long time ago so I've sort of been saving these I'm gonna use these in the purple house on the corner but what I am doing is I w I'm just gonna take this clear gloss and I like to put a whole coat on everything because before I go ahead and paint, I want a little bit because see that rusting and because I don't want that rusting to come through on my new paint. So I just, I've got this pre-shook up and then I'm gonna put you right up here. And all I do is just give it a real good coat. I go around and around and um, let it dry and I will come back and do another coat um, and the reason I do that is too because these are little tiny spindles and that way I know some of this got on there you could put a piece of paper or something a piece of cardboard or something behind there but I'm just gonna go for it I'm outside and I don't have to worry about the fumes so much and, So that's that. So that this one I'm gonna let sit and um, dry. So, but we'll move to this one because this one I've already sprayed a couple times with the clear lacquer and let it dry. So I went in my cupboard and I decided I was gonna do it black because I have white lamps. And I think I'm gonna, I think that'll be a real nice contrast and I don't feel any I still see that adhesive that's pretty much um, all encased in that clear lacquer because I try I did sand it off but I just didn't want to get down to having to strip it with anything because I still want it to be shabby chic and it doesn't take much get these little shades covered and um, this is the gloss so I'm gonna have a really good shine I'm using Rust-Oleum's Painters Touch another thing I found at the warehouse where I buy stuff from and this is a real pretty color I've used it on other stuff so I'm just gonna go ahead and keep spraying it and get my lamp good and covered. I'm gonna get inside there too. And just take my time. And I'm just gonna go around 
and get everything covered black. This is going to be really nice when it's dried. I'm going to let this dry. We'll take photos and we'll have all this posted um, on the blog and on the website. But this was just a quick and easy um, thing you can do um, if you happen to stumble on some beautiful lampshades that you really like. I guess I could sit down. Um, and you can even add your own pendant to this and hang it somewhere in your home, on your porch. I think that'd be really nice. Um, nice time now to do that. Um, I'm going to put these on a, some lamps that I have um, that are going to go along with this post. So I just thought that'd be a quick thing. That's what I use. Two products, a sanding sponge, and it doesn't get any better than that. Okay, until the next time.